Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 Metro. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 044 underscore BIAB underscore N where you save it. You can also download this file from the website. Click the file tab, hover the mouse cursor to save as, click project. Rename this file to 00 underscore 046 underscore DIAB underscore N. Click the save button. Select this word. Click edit type. Click duplicate. Rename this word to my generic 150 EXT for exterior. Click edit structure. Click insert twice and select the select the second layer and click the move up button once change the value to 12.5 millimeter select this select the third layer and click move down three times and change the value to 12.5 click on the first layer and change the function to finish one click on this first last layer and change the function to finish two click on the material column to bring the material dialog box type blue solid click on the blue solid place a check mark on use appearance and click on the appearance click on the tint to change the tint of the wall click on the color click paint and select a suitable color for your project Select this color 7488 and click OK. Click on this to change the properties of the color to a darker color and click OK. Click Apply and click OK. Click on this material column to bring the material browser. Click the down arrow and select Paint. Select White Paint. Check Use Appearance and click on the Appearance tab. Click on Place a check mark to tint and click to change the tint of the wall. Select this wall and move this slider up to change the quality of this color. Click OK. Click Apply. Click OK. Click OK. Click OK to return to the project. Zoom in. Now the thickness of the wall is being changed. Click the default 3D view to see the results. Hold down the shift key and your middle mouse button to see. Now select this wall. Click edit type. Duplicate. Backspace this to and type in INT for interior. Click OK. Edit structure. And click insert twice. Now select the one of the layer that you just added to the wall which is currently on number two and click up once more to move it up change its value to 12.5 select the other layer which is currently in column three and move this down below the below the below the core boundary layer change the thickness to 12.5 millimeter now in the material column click the by category and change the material to click on project material all select paint select the white paint click ok click ok click ok to return to the project click the modify button to see the results now the material still does don't display the color the way we expect so select the wall click the edit type edit click on this note now uncheck the appearance, click on the appearance tab and try to enter this number. Go back to the graphic tab and click on this radio button. Now type 255-191-255. Click OK. Click Apply. Click OK. Click OK. Click OK. Click the Modify button to see the results. Click the X button to close this view and go to the ground floor plan. As you can see, the wall is being updated. 
Now go to the foundation view to open this view. Select any of this wall and click edit type. Click edit, click insert twice. Select this layer and click the move up button to move it above the core boundary layer above and change the thickness to 12.5 select this layer and click the move down button to move it below the core boundary layer below and change the thickness to 150 millimeter now in the material column click the by category to bring the material browser click the down arrow and select paint select blue solid and click ok click on this node select blue solid and click ok click ok to click remove constraint click click ok select this wall click edit type click edit select insert twice click insert twice select one of the layer that you just inserted click the move up button to move it to the core boundary layer above change its function to finish one and change its thickness to 12.5 and click on the material click on the material cell and select blue solid click ok select the other layer and click the move down button to move it at the core boundary layer below change its function to finish to and change its thickness to 12.5 click on the material shell and bring the material browser click the down arrow and select paint select white paint click ok click ok click on join click ok go to the default 3d view to see the results now go to the ground floor plan view all right now that we have assigned the different we have created we have add different layer to the wall to create exterior and interior wall we're going to end this video here in the next tutorial we're going to assign the cut properties of the wall if you like this tutorial please click the like button and share it to your friend if you have any question please leave a comment below if you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel please subscribe thanks very much for watching i hope to see you in the next class goodbye